It's gonna fit just like so. And now we just take this nice little cover here. Ours is gonna pop off before we even get to fully bring it down. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Intel Core i5 13600K desktop processor. This CPU consists of 14 cores, six of which are performance cores, and eight of the cores are efficiency cores with speeds up to 5.1 gigahertz. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the CPU. Here's our 13600K. Check it out right there. Everything looks great. We have our nice Intel protective plastic packaging right here. Now let's go ahead, let's get this CPU installed. So we're gonna be using the MSI MPG. This is the Edge Wi-Fi motherboard. Keep in mind, the only thing that matters for you is making sure you have the proper Intel socket. In this case, you want the LGA 1700 socket. That's what you're gonna be using. The motherboards can vary as long as that is the compatible socket that you have. So let's go ahead. We're gonna open this up here. You'll see that will just gently remove everything. Be careful not to touch or do anything with those pins. You do not want to bend them or anything along those lines. You'll also notice on the cover right here, we have this little triangular shape and object that we're gonna reference with, I don't know if you can see it with the cover on, down in this corner, there's a very faint, teeny, tiny triangle. Let's take the CPU out. Maybe you'll be able to see it a little bit better up to the camera if it'll focus in. Can you see that little guy right at my fingertip? That's how you're gonna line everything up. It's only gonna go one way, so make sure you do it properly. And just gently press the CPU in place, right? So just resting in there, it's gonna fit just like so. And now we just take this nice little cover here. Ours is gonna pop off before we even get to fully bring it down. But there we go. Sometimes that might fly a little bit, fling off but we have it all lined up and you'll notice we have the triangle shape right there too. So it's in the corner, it's right there on the side of it as well. Line up triangle with triangle and you have your CPU properly installed. If you need to remove it, just repeat those steps in reverse order here. Gently take the CPU out and if you wanna reinstall it, line everything up like so. We have it in place. I like to put the cover back on. Keep this cover too. You just never know what'll happen if you ever need it. And then you'll see we can't even bring it down without it popping off. And we have everything properly installed and ready to go. So we have our PC built with our CPU installed. Now let's take a look and see how it performs. First up, we're looking at CPU Z. Feel free to pause the screen at any time. I'll click on each tab for you. First up, we have the CPU tab showing us all of our processor details right here. Followed by the motherboard that we're using. This is the MSI. This is the Meg B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard. I really like MSI motherboards. Memory. SPD. Graphics. We do have the UHD graphics as well as our own MSI 3070 Ti GPU. And then here's a look at our benchmarking results. We have our single thread score and our multi-thread score. Let's look at that in more detail and see how it compares to the competition. So in the single thread score, we got a top four placement right here below the 13900K, the 13700K, and the 12900KS. But look at that, very similar, right? 832 is our score, followed by 853, 864, and 902 is the best with the 13900K. We edge out the 12900K and KF12700 respectively, and the Ryzen 9 7950X is gonna be our first AMD sighting within this benchmark scoreboard. Now looking at multi-thread scores, we're at the top. Look at that, for our 20 thread count, the 13600K is at the very top. We actually edged out there, looks like their findings at 9741. We got higher than that at 9890. So we're beating the KF as well as the 12700K. Then further down, I don't have any AMD sightings yet. So plenty of Intel CPUs in the top right here. 
but our 13th gen 13600K is definitely the top performer compared to its competition, the 12700K from the previous gen, the 10900, the 10850. So you get the idea of where this is gonna place and stack up against some of the competition out there. Now let's talk about Cinebench R23. First up, our single core score is 2004. So with the chart that they have here at their ranking, we're towards the top, but we'll look at some different CPUs for our comparison here in a minute. And then we have our multi-core score right here of 2371.1. And we're in the middle of the pack coming in at a ranking of four. But now let's look at a complete scoreboard and get a breakdown of where we truly stand. So looking at Nano Review scoreboard right here, we have the 13900KS up at the very top, followed by the 13900K and then the KF. We also have the Ryzen 9 7950X followed by the 7950X 3D. We have to scroll down a little bit to get to our 13600K. We're showing up right here below the 13600KF in the M1 Ultra, as well as the AMD 7900. So you get a feel for where we stand with some popular CPUs on the market today. We're above the 12700K from the previous gen. So we're right there with the 12950, the M1 Ultra, the 7900 by AMD, above the 7800, obviously the 13600. So you get the idea of where we're gonna stack up against the competition and it's definitely towards the top. Now with Geekbench 5, here are the results. We got 1987 for our single core score and 1410.3 for our multi-core score. Let's see how that stacks up. So looking at single core scores, we got Intel's 13900 series CPU sweeping the top three, followed by AMD's 7000 series CPUs. We have the 13600K right here coming in a score of 2593. Keep in mind, we got a score of 1987. So pretty substantial difference in placement with what they got versus what we got with our system and build. But keep that in mind, that could be the potential for you and your CPU right there with your single core score. So right in line, very close to the 12900KS, 12700K, 12600, 12900. So if we go to our score of 1987, we're gonna be further down here. So right here, there's 1977 for the 11600 Threadripper Pro Series, the 5700G from AMD, 5600X, 11500, 11700. So a couple different options there with the CPU for single core score. And then multi-core score, very similar with the 13900 up at the top in AMD 7000 series CPUs. We gotta go further down the list right about here at 14363, showing us the score that they got for the CPU right in line with the 7700, the 3970X above the 12900. We got a similar score. We got a score of 14, I think it was 10-3. Yep. So we got a score of 14-10-3. So we're right in between these two results, right under by one CPU, the results that they got with the multi-core score. But you get the idea in line with the 12900, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. So it's pretty clear after looking at the data that the 13600K is a fantastic CPU in regards to price to performance. So if you're not buying the top of the line CPU from Intel or AMD, their 7000 series or like the 13900s, then the 13600 is probably gonna be your go-to CPU. Now let's talk about temperatures and the Intel 13600K. So keep in mind, there's tons of variables. What case you're using, what's your configuration, the cool the ambient air temperature, what sort of loads, processes are you running on your computer? So anyways, with all that being said, with our particular build, our experience is as follows. With the panels on, we're showing idle temps at 27 degrees Celsius. You can see a nice breakdown within hardware monitor, anywhere between basically 25 and 29 or so degrees Celsius, depending on the sensor and the temperature that you're going off of. Now let's put it under max load and see the results. So with the CPU under full load using Cinebench R23, the panels on, we've ran this test a couple of times. We're showing that we're hovering around that 82 degrees Celsius mark, anywhere between 80 and 83 usually. We peaked at 86 degrees Celsius though. So you get the idea under a max load with this particular build, cooler, everything that you see here, you can expect 
to see very similar temps in that low 80 degrees Celsius range. So if you're looking to upgrade to Intel's 13th gen CPUs, the 13600K is gonna be the sweet spot between price and performance. I think most users will be very pleased and happy with this particular CPU. Definitely a great value.